I'm Forrest Saunders at the state capitol. We're just about two weeks out from the start of that special session to support Israel. We're getting new information on the number of bills and what to expect in them. As Israeli forces in Hamas continue their fight abroad, Florida lawmakers expected to consider six bills in the coming special session two weeks from Monday. Chief among them, a plan to sanction Iran by prohibiting state investment in the nation's industries. That's after it supported Hamas terrorism in the past, though the country continues to deny involvement in the current conflict. Good morning, everyone. State House and Senate leaders are already on board, meaning the policy is likely to pass despite criticism it's unneeded with federal sanctions in place. In the coming days, while the support from other nations may recede, our support for Israel will never waver. Other goals center on more money for a variety of programs. Like Hurricane Idalia recovery, extra funds for Florida's Universal School Voucher Program, dollars to better protect against anti-Semitism and hate speech, plus additional help on property insurance. You know, Israel's near and dear to my heart, but so is the insurance uh, challenges that we're facing in the state. Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petrona, is pushing for a boost to the My Safe Florida Home Program. It offers grant dollars to harden property against extreme weather and can lower premiums as a result. So the average participant has seen a savings of about $1,000 a year on their premium cost when they make the investments through our program. Petrona said he's in talks with lawmakers right now to figure out how much will be allotted as the program is currently on hold with about 18,000 people trying to secure funds. As best I can tell, this just looks like this one's going to be another campaign stunt for the governor. Democrats, like the House Minority Leader, have concerns this session isn't offering enough. She told us she'd like to see more substance. So if we want to talk about real relief for homeowners, you know, I think that's a conversation that Democrats would be willing to have. You know, you can also consider Medicaid. My goodness, we could save $200 million per year for the state in general revenue if we simply expanded Medicaid. Her concerns come as we continue to wait for language on the actual bills up for consideration. Officials tell us they don't yet have a timeline for completion. Now, one of the big questions we keep getting asked about this special session is how much it will cost the taxpayer. But what we're hearing from state officials is it will be fairly minimal. That's because lawmakers were already slated to come back November 6th through the 9th for interim committee weeks. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.